come to build the kingdom. We come to build the kingdom. We got to contend for the faith. Let me talk, let me teach a little bit. Amen. The word contend. Stay on the keyboard. I want you to help me tonight because I might just jump into something. Just work with me. Amen. And I'm going to be honest, I'm very, very tired because I've been running up, running really, really low and a few sleep. The word content means to wrestle. Yes. It means to struggle. Yes. It means to battle. Yes. It means to fight. Yes. It means to defend. Yes. It means to hold. It means to claim fate. Yes. But the word contending, watch this. The word contending means to fight at the place you've been defeated. The word fight, contend, means to fight. No, no, contend. Fight, battle, struggle, war, struggles. But contending means the same place you're going through the problem. You're going to put your foot down and say, I ain't going to move. I ain't going to ship. So contending means you fight at the same place that you're going through your problem. Bring it on, demons. Can I submit to the church? Never fight the devil on his own turf. Amen. The church is fighting the devil on his own turf. If they gossip you, you gossip them. That's the devil's turf. Come on, somebody. If they post what about you, you post. Faith means a complete confidence yes. 
or trust Come on now. in someone or something. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. And to never do your faith. Come on now. Yes. Because the truth about you, we really don't we don't have no confidence in God. Come on now. Uh oh oh. Come on now. Out. Come if on you on. heard that, it'll mean to miss you. Come on now. <laughs> We talk about faith, but we don't understand what we're doing. Faith is putting a complete, not partial. Not partial trust. But complete trust in God. You don't need faith if you have it together. You don't need faith when you can pay your bills. You don't need faith when your body is good and your shit good and the coca cola rock or shit. You don't need faith, but when the doctor gives you a bad report, you want to get something. You got to put a cold out confidence. Watch this. Many of us don't put confidence in God because guess what? We put a confidence in the what the doctor say, the pills that we're taking. Some of us we go to another person. <laughs> Oh God. Come on now. Even churches you have people reading up their palms. Come on now. Yes, it's true. In church, we have witchcraft workers. Come on now. Witchcraft workers. Lying spirits. Come on. Come on. Nowadays, we don't need to, to wait on God for an answer. We want to give a prophet a money and let the prophet prophesy to us and we get the answer. When you get to that place, you don't have faith. My God. Come on now. Amen. Somebody mad with me tonight. Come on now. Go ahead. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 11, it said, faith is a substance of things. Watch this. We are teaching. Remember, teaching. The things hope. Hope. But the starting ground for faith is hope. hope. Yeah. 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 It's okay for me to teach like that. This yeah. is like our church. Yeah. I know you come to a certain day when you're hype and drunk, but, but allow me just to talk a little bit. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. This is the second year anniversary, and the woman got to fight some stuff. Yeah. But I want to shift the church from hope to faith. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. Hope is a starting ground. Yeah. Hope speaks to a promise. Hope speaks to a dream in something that you're desiring in the future. Amen. Can I say it again? Amen. When you hope for something, you're designing something down in the future. Yeah. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. Watch this, watch this. Fact is the fulfillment of what you hope for. Come on. Ah. Come on. Yes. You can't start on faith with a hope. No, 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 no. Yeah. You need hope yeah. to go on to because the Bible says faith is the substance of what you hope. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, talk to me, talk to me. So, so I'm hoping yes. to get a baby. Last night I get a dream that I was pregnant with twins. Oh. I'm not hoping for that. But I'm hoping to birth some babies in the realm of the spirit. Come on, somebody. You're gonna get bubble for your trouble. When I talk into the church, I have a hope, I have a desire. I'm gonna get double. Hey, I don't wanna get excited there. Wait, 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 wait. Faith is the fulfillment of hope. Or the result of what you're believing for. Aye, aye, aye. A person can live in hope and never achieve anything in life. A person can live in hope and never achieve anything in life. Watch this. Woman of God, I hope to go to school. 2009, I hope. 2010, I hope. 2011, I hope. Now it's 2024. Is there anybody in this room know what I'm talking about? You have been hoping they don't move from hope yet. My, oh God, no, no, no. Somebody might 
me right now. Put your name. I said, is that you? Come on. Say, neighbor, is that you? Man of God, we have been hoping and we don't move from. But watch me. A hopeful person start to jealous the one who has faith to know that I can't bring well, but I'm going to go out to school. Hopeful people are lazy.
God not going to keep me here till midnight. Uh-uh. I'm going home tonight early. Touch your name and say, it's going to be early. Touch your name and say, it's going to be early. Uh, this church hungry. And they want all the food. But I'm going to leave some for tomorrow. How long have you been hoping and nothing happens? Tell your neighbor, it's time to rise up by faith. Faith is stepping. Moving. Working with confidence. Saints of God, if you don't believe in what you're fighting for, watch this. Many persons are leaving church but they don't believe in it. People are just there for the salary. Many people are preaching not because they want soul to be saved. Just what you can pay them. Can I, can I can I submit to the church that whenever I go places to minister or, or, or travel out of the country to minister, there's a fear on me. There's a fear. You know, we preachers, we don't go for nothing but to do thus say the Lord. Amen. When you go like that, you're going to prepare yourself for territorial demons. Amen. Prepare yourself for the witches and the warlocks to come and attack you because you come to pull out some people out of some stuff that you're in. So you've got to be prepared. Yeah. Can, I, can I testify? Yeah. Bishop Ellington, yeah. I've traveled the nations, sir. Yeah. Humble yeah. that. Yes. Finish preach. Witness. Not even. We know it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. I mean, we go to the airport and the lady give us, give us an envelope and I said, okay, that can buy some snacks at the airport for us. Amen. When we opened the envelope, all I seen was, thank you for coming. <laughs> wow. 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 Can I say it again? Yeah. We run revival. I will finish. Yeah. And knowing us, ask them when I go anywhere that's the end of their wallet and give offering. Wow. Amen. So we're hungry. Yeah. We have the money. It's yeah. so good to know that she was giving us an envelope. Yeah. So I didn't open it in front of her and I went to the sit down in the airport right beside the cafeteria. Hey Amen, somebody. And I bought a bus hoping the blessings. But God Almighty better. When we open up the blessing, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. I look at those and I look at their faces and I know their faces wasn't right. I said, God, I don't like to use my card in this area because the bank can shut down your card. But God, I said, I got to do it. Good God, I'm like, I begin to swipe the card and the bank approved whatever I was doing. And we eat our belly full. But can I tell you the blessing? The Break it down. Yeah. There's no way in the Bible God tends to fight in a battle. Mm. Because the battle what? Thank you. So why are you doing God's job? Amen. Amen. Need no help. Battle is different from a war. Yes. Yes. Battle is just come back. Let me tell you what's a battle. She said this, you say that. She said this, you say that. She talk about it, you talk about it. She posts, you post. Yes. He say your church no good. You say he's that's battles. Yes. Those are the battles and little stuff. That's I will take care of that. But David said, teach my feet. How to walk. Watch your saints of God. We have you know why we can't fight in the world. We have been burned out in battles. Yes. Yes. I talk it to the church. Yes. Burnt out. Yes. With each. 
she and she said, burn out the one they say about you. Burn out when the war comes, we don't know how to fight. My God, my God, my God. Why are you doing God's job? Mighty wow. God. That's in the bathroom. Hallelujah. yours. I don't know time to look on her hat. Her spaceship. <laughs> no time for that. No time for that. For the enemy raping our daughters. Raping our children. I went over to Belize. I just got back from Belize about a month ago. Woman of God, listen to me. Hear me. We're trying to be prepared for what is coming. Amen. We're not ready for what is coming. I went over to Belize and what I saw, yes. our church is not ready. Yes. In Belize City where we went, yes. girls are molested from the age of six by their fathers. Wow. And guess what? It is allowed in the culture yeah. for the fathers to sleep with the babies. Oh Watch this. My God. The church is not ready. Not the four walls is not the church. Wow. You have to go out on the highways of the Bible and see what is really happening out there. Saints of God, it's not the four walls. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 But God, Hallelujah. you know what is problem in the church? Mm. Too much power sitting down doing nothing. Come on. Yeah. 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 They're ministers, yeah. and all they do want to want to go up there on Sunday morning. The pulpit belongs to the pastor. The pulpit. You need to go out there. Oh, let me ask a question, man of God. Hear me, hear me. I said, I'm teaching tonight. Where have you ever seen a shepherd have sheep? Wow. Sheep bring sheep. Sheep bring sheep. Where have you ever seen a shepherd having sheep? Sheep bring sheep. Put them out in the office. <laughs> Tell me where you see sheep have sheep, or where a shepherd reproduce sheep. Impossible. Impossible. But what happened now? The sheep bring forth sheep. And it's not sheep. It's one sheep. You know why it's called sheep? Because we're all one in God. So sense of God, the struggle is going on because we expect the shepherd to go out there and find the sheep. When those who are equipped with the power and the anointing to go forth and bring into the body of Christ so the shepherd can take care of the sheep. Too much power struggle. Too much power struggle in the church. I have persons walk in my ministry to visit yes. and go to one of my leaders and say, oh, I see that they're not using you in here. Am I lying? I see that you're looked down on. The person that they're telling that is the one who works the hardest in the ministry. Wow. Pastor Kelly, how are you doing? <laughs> We're wasting time with the power struggle. Amen. We're wasting time with the little battles and the, the tit for tats and this one say that and, and that one say that and this one dresses me and that. Thanks of God, listen to me. The kingdom of God is not about what you wear or how you look for somebody. The devil is fighting against your clothes. Listen, the devil, listen, the devil don't fight who he have. I'm teaching, it's okay? Yeah. I know maybe you're used to the Say yes, they're coming out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I passed those days. Oh God, but saints, let me say to you, women and men of God inside here, saints of God, the devil don't fight who he has. Not at all. Amen. Amen. No. And a, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stop. Here we are. The enemy will never fight people that you already have. Yes, Lord. If you think it's all about how you look, no. they don't want your clothes. No. By the way, you know how to dress. No. But I'll tell you who you want. The one that sits or turn on this pulpit and preach, just say God. 
He come in your home and mess things up. He come on your job and mess things up. He walk in your marriage and mess things up. He come against your children and mess things up. He come against the body and mess things up. Because the devil don't want you to preach. Or how you look. I wish the church of God would get out of your flesh. Get out of your home to the parents and get in the realm of the spirit. The devil is after your worship. He's after your praise. He's after your prayer life. He's after you. He's after those who know how to pray. He's after those who know how to seek the face of God. The devil don't want your money. He has all the money he wants. He doesn't want your clothes. No, it is all about the Coca Cola back of shape. The devil don't want your shape. He don't want none of that. What he wants is the thing. Oh, let me break something down. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Isaiah chapter 14. I touch a little bit on it. Yes. Verse 12. But the devil said he was in heaven. And he said, I want to exalt my throne above the throne of God. Watch this. He said, I was sent yes. on the congregation. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. If God cast him out of heaven, did, did the devil change his mind? No. <laughs> Somebody talk to me. <laughs> Why? Listen, I tell you the other night. The devil, nothing the devil said in heaven, he can't change his mind because it was said in eternity. Yeah. And nothing you say in eternity can change. So when he said, I want to sit on the congregation, he did not change his mind. So what he's doing now is gathering a congregation down in this earth. Because, oh, thank you. For you send this earth, I will ascend into the heaven. Watch this. I will exalt my throne above stars. I will sit. Oh, Jesus. He didn't change his mind. He did not change his mind. The devil is trying to sit on some congregation. Yes. The Bible says like a roaring lion. Seeking who? Woman of God, open up your eyes when they come and say they come to help. Open up your eyes when they come. Try every spirit. Allow them to sit for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Amen. You never have more than one shepherd over a flock. Amen. Cause trouble. Amen. Man of God, it caused trouble. Right. So when they come inside your woman of God, put them to sit down. Yes. I don't care I'm if you know right. them. I don't care how much I can preach that Paul. You are the pastor of the church. And when I say sit, I mean sit down. Amen. Hallelujah. So they, don't, they don't come to sit down. They come to take over. Yes. And then people have a way to want to go towards who is talking yes. better or leading better and prophesying better. And all of a sudden, the church that you pray and fast for, it becomes divided and catastrophe in the body of God. Put them to sit down. Yes. Yes. We won't get much amen, but that's all right. That's all right. Put them to sit down. I've gone in church and I have to sit down. Watch this. Yes. Watch this. In 2017, my late husband and I had our ministry. The devil gets in him. And my late husband looked at me and tell me, from this day, you're no longer a pastor. There are witnesses here. He said, from this day, I'm taking the pastor from you. Watch this. The church at High Bird. Hello. The church that I founded. I put him over it. Amen. Because I thought as a woman, I shouldn't be leading a church. So I put him, I put man over my assignment. When man didn't understand my assignment. When things were going bad, he told me in a letter, 
He said, from this day, I'm both pastor and bishop. I went to God. I said, God, what should I do? The Lord said, go sit and humble. Then he grants. You, you know the ministry. And God is telling me, the vision that he gave me, I must go sit down and let a man. He said, because you gave away the baby. That's it. That's it. You gave away the baby. So whoever you put in charge have authority over the baby. I wonder if you hear a woman ago. I'm talking my testimony. Yes, I saw you go. And I sat, as witnesses here, I sat. Every Sunday I go and tears will roll down my eyes. Ah, and every Sunday they preach and they throw words at me. But every Sunday I put on my clothes and I still go to church because guess what? I'm still sitting but I'm still protecting the baby. Oh good God, you can take the title but I'm still watching over the baby. You can take it but I'm still watching my assignment. I sat for about four months. And this knee surgery said, but if I lose my knee, what's the problem? Uh, and I never opened my mouth to tell the church that I was demoted in my own vision. Didn't know that God was preparing me to lead a church by myself. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I did not know that I was in training. Touch your neighbor and say, your training, your wilderness is your training. Your problem is your training. The hardship you're going through is your training. If you don't trust God. Run on. Oh, Lord Jesus. What you worrying about? I've been sleepless night over when God says, I'm taking care of it. Stop expecting people to understand everything you're going through. Stop expecting people to understand no, everything that you're going. Hallelujah. As a pastor, learn to shut my mouth. Sometimes we just can't relate. Because you are never given the measure of faith that you got. My God. Talk to me, preacher. I can walk in your room. My God. God, my God. And I can hear your problem, but maybe I just cannot tell Don't you. Don't understand. That was not my assignment. Stop complaining, woman of God, if people don't understand the tears that you cry. Different level in different. God didn't put it on them, He put it on you. you. Jesus. Stop worrying when some people leave because they're only there for the one year. My God. They can't go where Zion is going. So when Zion shall fail, they bring forth. Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead, preacher. Stop getting mad when people don't sympathize with you over what you're dealing with. Mighty God. Have you ever stopped to wonder or think that they're not designed for this? Mm. Jesus. Oh. I love when the church quiet. I love when the church quiet. My sense can tell you I don't like the noise too much. I want you to hear what I'm saying to the body of Christ. Because I remember years ago, I couldn't pronounce one sentence good. Can I talk the truth? Years ago, probably this guy, back in our days, back down in Jamaica, one woman called and laughed at me. One rebuke me. Oh, yes. <laughs> they laugh and tell me, I'm not pronouncing my verbs. Hello, somebody, and my, and my sentences properly. Amen, somebody. But look what the Lord has done. Oh, come on, somebody help me. I've gone before great men. And when I said, Lord, you're going to give me eloquent of speech. By the time I'm done, I listen to myself. I feel proud. Oh, good God Almighty. It's not where you start. Some people can't handle you. Not if your husband sometimes understands you. Okay, let me come on this side. <laughs> Not even your wife sometimes don't understand you. Not even your husband Amen. understand you. And many times, woman comes off as rebellious.
envious. Yes. Let me talk the truth. Yes. Let me look up here and turn me back over here. Sometimes women leaders comes up as rebellious. Yes. Not understanding that it's the anointing upon our lives. Where we operate the way we operate. I'm not disrespectful. My husband said he don't like my tone. Then a witness in the house. Yeah. Woman of God, am I talking truth? My husband said my tone is too strong. Amen. I wish you would understand it's not about my tone. Because no one then, oh God, I will switch from wife to past in one sentence. Can I talk to the church? I will switch the pastor to apostle to everything in one sentence and come back being wife. I just want you to understand me. Sometimes I'm talking to my saints. Can I tell all my saints are out of order? They said to me, I don't want to talk to apostle today. I want to talk to mother. Sometimes I don't want mother one sister. The worst one they ask for is Sharon. Can Sharon not save? <laughs> So Sharon gonna give you a rock. Mother gonna put you down and work with you. Apostle gonna go in the spirit room and then tell the pastor in one conversation you switch on every different role because we are woman that carry many hearts. You don't have to yourself, do you? Amen. Amen. Some people tell you. They will stand with you, but today where are they? Just because they did not get the assignment that you got. Oh my God, you're two years. And I, I heard a testimony, you're not really two years. Is that my ministry, I have six years, but I'm not really six years. I'm 11 years to be exact. But God told me when I get over there, let it be the beginning of something different. Yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, let me tell you something. There are going to be some days fighting don't make no sense. Yeah. Crying don't make no sense. Your nose running, smudge your nose, no make no sense. Baby. There are some days you're going to call God and see that God is far from you. But one thing I want you to remember, when God is silent, he's talking the loudest. Yeah. When God is silent, he's speaking the loudest. Why? Because when he's talking, you should take notes. When he's silent, you use the notes. They didn't get that. They didn't get it. They didn't, they didn't. Can I say it again? When God is talking, you take notes. So when he's silent, you use the notes. Can I say it again? Sure. Today we get the news that you're vomiting blood. She's in church today. Come on, we pray, we pray, we pray. We pray, we pray. In the middle of the service, they said, so one of my saints are vomiting blood. I said, God, that vomit must stop in the name of Jesus. She's in the house of God, giving God praise to me. Come on, somebody bless the Lord. When God is speaking, take note. There's going to be a season of life when you hear about God talking. Yeah. Prophecies right. and word. Right. Yeah. Write it down. Right. Yeah. When it comes a time when God becomes silent. Yeah. And when God's silent, whatever he told you, you when you're speaking, utilize it. Because he told you in advance because you're going to need it. Yeah. Somebody help me praise God. Yeah. Uh, fight! What negative arise come against you. Fight! When the enemy is attacking you against your miracle. Fight when you know that your reward is near. But there's something coming against what you are hoping for. The Lord said to contend for the faith. Yes. You've got to fight. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. May I submit to you. No matter the amount of persons on the battlefield. The war is between you and the person you're fighting. Hallelujah. But the church... 
we all fight in the same person. Yeah. If the church can come together as one, on. we are more than conquerors. Yeah. Women of God in the battle start calling me about overcomers. We come up here fast and pray. I'm used to shutting down in hours in night and pray until something up. Call me. Yes. Mm. When I start to war, you come help me pray too. Yeah. Because if we stand united, yeah. the fight is real. Yeah. Zion Worship Center. Fight. And never you try to quit. Fight. When your family don't seem like they can fight with you. Fight. When it seems like only one member leaving the church. Fight. When you think that you're going to lose your sanity. Fight. When you want your peace of mind. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your children. Fight for your ministry. But most of all, fight. For the anointing upon your life, somebody bless the Lord. Come on, come on, somebody. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 32, I'm coming down. The Bible said a man called Jacob. Somebody help me. The Lord was sending Jacob back home to meet his brother. And the Bible said, Jacob said, God, I can't go into a fight with the same old attitude. I can't go in a fight with the same thing. People know you to fight one way, but in this season, you're going to fight a different way. So Jacob said, in Genesis chapter 32, verse 22, then Jacob 